Yes. Hey, sister, are you on a scale from one to ten? I'd like to say ten, but I think. Saucy, saucy, flossy. Saucy. I can get none of them off. <laughs> RJ, RJ Squad. Squad. <laughs> Hold on. From a scale of one through ten, how this are you? What? Hey, yo. We gotta tune in, bro. <laughs> we gotta tune in. How racist are you on a scale from one to ten? I'm, I'm gonna say if you live in America and you were born here and you're grown up and you're 50 plus, good luck if you're below five. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how? Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. On a scale of one to ten. Racist. Oh. Oh my god. Um. And be honest. Uh. Be honest, though, chat. Don't, don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest. Hey, sister, are you on a scale from one to ten? I'd like to say ten, but I think being white, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, no, ten, ten means, like, super racist. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. say. Oh, she's a blonde. It, it makes sense. The other way around. <laughs> what? Why would ten be... Why would ten be not... Does that make sense? How racist are you? Uh, zero. 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 The type of family I come from, the type of people I'm around, I'm around a diverse, you know, family, people, and things like that, so, no. Not racist at all? Yeah, no. I wouldn't say so. How racist are you? I wouldn't say so? What? What do you mean by that? Let's see, let's see what Bob gotta say. Between a three nah, but and Just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay. Racist? I would say four. A a three or four? See, okay, now you start to tell a little bit of the truth. Four, just because I think that there are things that I'm ignorant to, so it's not that I sit here to be that racist, she's ignorant to. Hold on, Shorty, what do you mean by that? Learn. Like, I definitely feel like I could have better thoughts, like the initial thoughts, and like try to unlearn a lot of things. So, I'm a one. Okay, she kept it real. She kept it real. She basically saying her parents is what taught her to be like that and things like that. I understandable, I get that. Accidental racism? Now give me an example of accidental racism. Yeah, what do you I mean by that? Know. And sometimes I will mistake in some people for like different Asian races. For me, because okay, I okay, okay. Okay. will acknowledge, like there are times okay, I'm okay, like, damn, okay. like my people really be doing this. Growing up in like an Asian household, it's more like we discriminate against each other. It was always just like, oh Wait, yeah, what? you know, if you're, uh, Chinese, then you're like cheap with like money, but you have money. Korean, what? Then you're gonna be someone that's uh, just kind of like put yourself above everyone else, super stuck up. In uh, my Vietnamese household, um, I feel like Vietnamese people they're a little bit more judgy, and so everywhere you go, um, there'd be things like um, they would point out, and so that's why I started noticing that too. Well, sometimes I'm making joke of myself as a thinking on Asian. I can't do this, right? <laughs> so oh, what do you? Wait, what you about to say, Shorty? Hold on. What you about to say? What you about to say right now? It's on the internet. There is a bad driver. I see. I'm just saying. I think she is a female Asian driver. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She keeps she keeping it a little real. She keeps on saying. I see what she's coming from. <laughs> I can say because of myself is that. How racist are you on a scale from one to ten? Towards my own race, probably like a five. Who's your own race? I'm Asian and white, so those are the two races I usually pick on. I'm Latinx. I was born in Mexico. Like some so your own I race? Other, like, I meet other like Latinx people and they tell me like, you know, some situation. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's such a Mexican thing. How racist are you on a scale of one to ten? Is that is that a racist thing or like a like a stereotype type of thing? I um. What's nine. your number? Consciously, I want to <laughs> say one. I mean, I would say like a one. One. Probably like one point five. But what did she mean by consciously she would stay one? So when she's not like consciously aware, she would just start blurting out type stuff? What? What do you mean? Yo, these answers is not coming out right, bro. It's either like zero to ten. The fact that people damn racism will always live on. One to ten. How racist are you? One. You're confident on number. Yes. I feel like saying one is is almost you can't look at the of all the unconscious biases that I probably carry yeah. so but if you're a one you could say you're I'm I try to actively work to be a one one it's really, wait, 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 wait. what do you mean you try to actively work towards one so what number are you are you above one yeah you got to be above one over one damn something yeah, you know, that's how the world is man though ideally you know me one ideally, ideally. hopefully what not anything actually? more actually Actually, probably around that too. How racist are you? 
probably two. My mom was pretty broad-minded, and she made us... Okay, he, 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 he seemed yeah. genuine with it. He seemed genuine with it. ...contact with everybody. There was Hispanics and colored people and... See how you didn't say... I don't know. I feel like bro wanted to say blacks. I feel like bro was trying to... He ain't look at the camera. He's trying to, like, not look at the camera. What's the truth, my boy? What is the truth, my boy? Look at him. Honestly, look at him. Does he seem like he's telling the truth right now, bro? I don't know. Oriental people, and I know the the words are all changed now, so everyone gets pissed about their little things. How racist are you on a scale from one to ten? I like hope I'm not a ten. I feel like that's a question for other people, not for me. Have you ever said or done something racist? I'm sure I have. Like microaggressions are a part of life, and uh, I have. Me. What's a microaggression? Yeah, what's I a micro? Some things that you don't understand in the moment that can be harmful or hurtful or you know perpetuate stereotypes so she 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 damn near just basically exposed herself that she said before you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna say it in the video because i ain't trying to get yellow marked but you know what i'm saying she basically saying what she's saying what's the most racist thing you've ever done uh <laughs> maybe oh, she... just like move to the other side of the room when i see someone or just like see have, someone like, a racist thought in my head and i'm just like oh why did i think that you know so, oh my gosh, she just basically said, based off someone's race, like she's moved across the room. Don't even know them. The, this world, the fact, what did this came out a day ago? Four days ago, bro. How are people still like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I do be feeling like that energy though. Like when I be in stores with my hood on, I don't know, bro. I be on like hood with shades on. I feel like just being black, that is being watched a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it, but it's facts, bro. It's facts. On a scale of one to 10, like, I feel like I can't even be in, like, walking around the neighborhood. Just walking, trying to be outside, enjoying the sun. You know, with my hood on and shades on without, like, someone, like, I I personally feel like, you know, I walk past someone's car, they, you know, I feel like someone locks it or they lock it before as I'm walking towards that way. I'm not going to lie. I be experiencing that here and there. I'm like, bro, I'm not. You feel me? But people look at everyone differently. That's the difference, though. Actually, black people do not have the structural power in the United States to be racist. Racism comes. Okay, from she's been a she's been a spit and She's been a spit against those do, that do not have that power. In that wait, wait, yeah, he gives me some facts. I didn't hear what he said. Oh, I got here today. Factually, black people do not have the structural power in the United States to be racist. Racism <laughs> comes from people in power in a position to have authority against those do, that do not have that power and that authority. Someone who identifies with the minority community, um, it is not possible for me to be racist. So I believe that to an extent. I mean, is it racist to like- I feel exactly what he's saying. I feel exactly what he's saying. At first I was kind of confused what bro was saying, but I get it now. Be racist to racist? I actually don't believe that black people can be racist. I don't know, bro. Like. I still, there's still a couple of like, hesi like hesitant moments with around like white people, especially. I'm predicting how their behavior will be because of the color of their skin, which is like definitely racist, but it's like, it's Feel a that. reaction. It's a reaction rather than like, I hate those people. It's like, I hate that those people probably hate me. So. <laughs> nah, we got, yeah, I said, nah. He was speaking that shit, bro, no cap. I grew up around a lot of Latinos and Blacks, and they always told me, they were all like, yeah, white people's the enemy, and we should avoid them, and I always just had that kind of mindset, you know? I realized that the, the anger was hurting me so more it, 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 Like I said, it was passed down. We gotta stop this for the youth. We gotta stop it. Else around me, so... It was just I feel like we get, it's getting better, though. All right, go I definitely getting, getting better, bro. Anger was coming from, and then... But it's just the older generation still that's alive, you feel me? <laughs> Hey, I ain't wishing no bad luck on you, but if you still racist in 2023, what you doing, my boy? Just learning to control it better. Let's be honest. There are natural biases, especially when, you know, you like, are personal. But then again, though, to them, it was passed down from them. So, you know what I'm saying? We really just need to stop it in general. But it's still, if it's still going to be passed on, it's going to keep going, though. You feel me? When is it going to be actually wiped out? I ain't going to lie. I've been watching a little bit too much Attack on Titans. I <laughs> oh, I go cap. Color. But it's just like that, though, too, though. In Same way. You want to protect yourself, and there's a lot of things that have happened to you and people you know. But I would say that I feel like I am very biased sometimes, or that I group people, and I, like, kind of go along with stereotypes. A black person can be racist to a Hispanic person. A black person can be racist to 
Pacific Islander, I can still be prejudiced and hurt somebody, so I have to be aware of that. On a scale of one to 10, how racist are you? I'm gonna go with a four, just because of ingrained shit. Lived in a small town, moved to the big city, and... Okay, so it come, okay, so basically, like I said, it was passed out. And uh, learned a lot, so. How racist are you? Maybe like a, a five? I feel like five is a I... safe number for anyone to start at, and then you can work yourself. Well, I think that everyone's- What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Really, really biased. So I'd probably say five or six. I think we're all racist, given the society we live in and the way racism is ingrained in us. There's a lot of shit that I learned consciously and subconsciously that it takes a while to know that is happening and then a while to really undo what's happening. See, the thing I like about it's Cut, right. though, at least they get, like, everyone, like, all different types of races, all types in this, because it just makes sense. You can't just really ask one really race, because then would you be saying that race is the most racist? You feel what I'm saying? By, like, Catholic white parents, I can't help that. Like, as a child, I learned certain things that, like, now living in a very progressive city, I would, like, highly disagree with. What's the most racist thing you've ever done? I used to work retail, and my managers on the walkie would, like, tell me to customer service certain people, like, on the walkie. Wait, what? Um, like, their descriptions were just, like, just cringe. Like, and you, like, participated. Yeah, you could tell us you're not proud of it, though. At least you could tell us you're not really proud of it, though. You could tell, though. You could tell. She regret it. She regret it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how racist are you? The furthest negative that you could possibly believe in. I don't think Honestly, chat. I need y'all to be honest down below. I don't want through 10. No harm, no hurt feelings, for real, for real. Be honest. 1 through 10. Comment down below. I want to know. I'm going to go for a zero, but I do <clears> think sometimes, like, if we're not aware, casual racism occurs. So I don't really notice people's color or really hold any judgments some people just like have like a culture and like a way of thinking where they don't realize they're playing into like stereotypes i think a lot facts, of people facts. um have some type of like internalized racism so i don't think anyone is really like a zero how racist are you and, and now okay i get that you know what i'm saying i get where some people are coming from you can't say oh i'm not at all but then technically at some point in time you was taught from somebody so you can't really say it. At some point in time, someone out there, deep down inside, chat, y'all said something racist. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest now. <clears throat> be honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. You can still accept it and move on. You feel me? But at one point, you was. Could have been. Intentionally racist? I would say zero. <clears throat> there have been moments where I've said something ignorant and was corrected. One of my friends at the time was, like, Egyptian, and I, like, made an assumption that, like, one of her gods were a cat. She just. <laughs> what? What? Didn't respond well to that. I feel like you should reevaluate your number, maybe. <laughs> oh no. How racist Wait, is hold you? on. What did she just say? What did she say? I'm my best to be close to the one two range. Sometimes stereotypes will pop up in my head. That used to make me feel really guilty. That I want them to ask, scared. what's a stereotype that you said? I want them to ask. I really do want, I hope they do ask that, bro. But then I learned that like being anti-racist isn't just like not having any prejudices. It's in fact, recognizing when they pop up and dismissing them and knowing like that isn't true. That's just a stereotype. That's just a prejudice. On a scale from one to 10, how racist are you? But I think everyone has that internalized biases. So I'd say I have to say I'm, I'm maybe a two. Maybe a two. Why, why, why was he like second guessing? Why why was he trying to get corrected by somebody else? But we're asking you the question. What, what, what? Come on, man. Three. I will give myself a three. A three because I'm not active enough with it. Wherever you go. What do you up, mean you're not active kind of, enough with it? What? Honestly, like you can't help it, but um, you're kind of fed things when you're little. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And I recognize that I am a white person and I have a lot of white privilege and I've benefited a lot in my career and in the world from the color of my skin. And I can't say that I haven't like at some points enjoyed reaping the rewards of the colors of my skin. Growing up. Whoa. Damn. Did you just. But she's not really saying anything about like another race though, but it's just, yeah, she really spilt the beans.
in a small town um, that was predominantly white. I think there's a lot of unconscious bias to me to be mitigated and caring more about seeming like you're a bad person rather than just like genuinely being a good person, whether you get credit for that or not. What's the most racist thing you've done? I don't know if it's like me being racist, but it's like me being in the face of racism and being racist back. So I was in Turkey in 2020 during like China virus. See, and that's why it's, it's tough. That's why people got stopped because they did the day. That's the number one thing you can say about somebody, something about their race. And then that person gonna say something about their race. And then that's why it just keeps, man. Um, <laughs> and people wouldn't let me on public transportation because they thought I was Chinese. So I would just tell them I'm Korean. I would just pick a different race whenever. Like, wait, what? Like, hey, I'm Japanese. And they're like, all right, come on in, you know? So. They were playing on their racism. Yeah, yeah. But they wouldn't let bro on the bus in Turkey? What's the most racist thing that's happened to you? I've been called a wetback. Hey. Um, flat out been called the n-word. How that? Uh, yep. Hurts? No. Feel that. Just be judged immediately off of. Oh, like, off the color of skin. Facts. Feel I was that. A kid, like the neighbors used to not play with me because I was black, and they would be they would play with my brother. But see, that's the thing, though. It's because their parents thought that kids don't know anything. Their parents talk, told them, "Don't don't go near them." That's the tough. That's tough, bro. Because he was light skinned What can people do? Because he was like. That's a personal journey. As a black man, I'm not here to educate you, but there's plenty of resources out there. So, honestly, chat, I want y'all to go down below and I want you to put yourself in this position. If you had to say one through 10, say one, you know, give your number one through 10, you don't gotta say why. I just wanna know. Like I said, no hurt, harm feelings here, you feel me? We all at Family RJ Scott, we gonna be cooking, man. And I'ma see y'all boys in the next video. Hey, saucy, flossy, I can't get none of them off me. You wanna know how to off me? Your bitch over here, she off me. Drip, 